Greetings and welcome to this massive open online course, Introduction to Bio-Risk Management. Today I will be discussing with you with regard to the usage of a biological safety cabinet. What do you see in front of you on the screen is a biological safety cabinet. This biological safety cabinet is an example of an engineering control. It can be utilized to effectively mitigate the risk posed by a biological agent. A biological safety cabinet provides directional airflow. If you look through this cabinet, you will see a grill located in the front of this table. Now this grill is basically an inlet for air. The air is directed from this region of the cabinet inside this sash or behind this glass partition and the air is directed downwards. So the air enters into this grill and a second stream of air flows through this grill into this grill and over into the ceiling and back again. So now there's a cyclical flow of air. This cyclical flow of air protects the operator or the laboratory user who will be sitting directly in front of this biological safety cabinet. If you look up at this region, you will notice the controls, a digital interface over here. And this cabinet is a class two type B1 biological safety cabinet. Now most biological safety cabinets are vented out into the environment, which means that the air from this biological safety cabinet is filtered prior to release into the environment. If you look in the front portion of this biological safety cabinet and notice the grill, you have to ensure that no objects block this airflow when working with this biological safety cabinet. Now, on the upper section of a biological safety cabinet, you will notice a valve. This is a hard ducted cabinet, which means that the cabinet airflow is directed out of this cabinet into the HEPA filter and then on into the environment. This is the grill which I mentioned earlier. The grill is located at the edge of the cabinet and this is an area in which you should not operate any machinery and it should not be blocked with any kind of equipment in order to protect you from exposure to the biological agent. This is the second grill which is located at the rear wall of the cabinet. This should not be blocked under any circumstances at, as it will disrupt the directional airflow and increase the risk of exposure to the biological agent. The upper section of this cabinet also contains a grill and this is responsible for the downdraft of air. The downdraft of air is basically filtered and will protect the sample from any biological agents which may be present in the environment. This limits any errors caused by operations in the biological safety cabinet, especially those involving testing. If you look here, you can see the ultraviolet light which is turned on when the cabinet is being sterilized between operations. Okay. This is a certification. So prior to using this biological safety cabinet, one needs to ensure that the certificate is valid. Biological safety cabinets must be validated periodically based on the standard operating procedure in order to ensure safe working operation. Okay. Biological safety cabinets should not be operated beyond their safety limits. So this is the sash or the glass panel which protects the user from the biological agent and this should not be extended beyond the range of this arrow or else 
there will be a disruption of the airflow. This is how a layout looks in a standard biological safety cabinet. So this, as you can see, is a, is a rack containing the samples with the pipettes. The pipette tips are located here. The samples are then transferred onto tubes, which will be placed over here. And there is a absorbent towel or a C-fold towel placed below this to collect any liquids which may spill during the operation. And finally, you have the double bagged waste bin over here. So ideally, how you work is you take the sample by using a tip, a pipette tip, you transfer it into a second tube, and then you transfer the waste tips into these biological waste container prior to disposal. This basically illustrates the operation of the biological safety cabinet. This is a layout of the rack. As you can see, I have maintained a distance between the grill and the samples in order to ensure that there is no interchange or contamination of the space. So this is around 10 centimeters behind this grill. This is where you place your tips. So this is a clean area. So the tips are basically sterilized. You retrieve the tip with the pipette tip and you can then transfer the sample into the respective tubes. This is basically a introduction to working in the biological safety cabinet. I have prepared another video which will describe operations in detail. Thank you very much for watching this short tutorial. Stay biosafe.